Hey hello everybody, my name is Kevin Moore. Welcome back for another video of NHL Franchise Mode. I'm back boys. We are back uh, for another video basically. So last time we played uh, this game basically. We played the Franchise Mode. We were doing really good uh, for this season. I think it's our fourth year as a GM. It's kind of a no-brainer at this point. We did pretty good. 31, 11 and 8. So we're pretty good in the standard, uh, standings as well. Now we started to fall off a little bit, having a little bit more difficult time. It's just because uh, we're losing, but we're losing in shootout. So we're, we had a lot of difficult time in shootout, and I figured, why not change the lineups for those shootouts? So what I, I'm going to show you really quick what I did, boys. I don't have any trades to do. I think we are at the traded, uh, trade deadline. We're close to it, at least. Uh, I'm not going to do any trades unless there's a trade that's pops off to me that's probably gonna happen but that is really interesting we've got that's not what I want to look at there we go I want to look at the shootouts so we've got we're gonna get Henry Ecker in there first he was already there in first I imagine he's gonna play well I mean he's 99 everywhere boys he should be good in like shootouts and everything so we're gonna get Panarin afterwards um, I'm not entirely sure how I managed to get that I think I, I went for with the uh, D-King and the end eye for this one, boys. So that's why I chose this Eberle, Manta, and Rasmussen. I'm going to take a, a chance with Rasmussen here. Don't have a choice but to take chances at this point. So it's just a shootout, boys. There's, it's not going to hurt anybody except us. And we already were doing bad in shootouts. So I'm hoping that this is going to help out a little bit. So let's just go into the simulation right away. Uh, simulate this month so two four six eight and uh, ten so all the way up to the Toronto Maple Leafs game let's see if we're gonna do better in shootout boys if we can manage to get the wins now in shootout that, that's gonna help out a lot now we do start off with a seven to one regulation loss which is <laughs> not what I wanted to see at all I'm hoping for a good simulation this year, boys, uh, for the rest of the year. So that we can really get into the playoffs, secure our place. And once in the playoff, I don't know how it's going to go, basically, boys. I don't know how it's going to go because we only made it once in the playoffs before. And uh, we got swept or got uh, defeated basically really quick by our opponent in the first round. So I'm hoping that... We are going to do better if we get to... I think we are going to get there. We might be able to get there. I mean, we're already at 34 wins. There's plenty of games to play still. we got like 20, 25 games still to play. So I think we're good. So first round pick? No. I'm not trading my first round picks, boys. That's for sure. So they can forget about that already. Now we do have three losses in regulation since we began that... Um, so that simulation in itself that's four losses in regulation now We've got three wins so three and four basically that's not good at all that's not what i want to see no i'm not going to trade my first round you can forget about that already god damn you really want my first rounder uh pumpo is injured so i'm going to replace him he's playing in the ahl so we've got four and i think now it's four and four so it's uh it's in tie situation it's a equal situation but switched up my I switched up my shootout uh, lineups and now all of a sudden we're not even going to sh overtime or shootout we're just losing plainly without having points that's, uh, that's just being ridiculous I think we ended up with a 5-5 record which is not that good boys it's a decent record but uh, we should be playing better I don't know why where we're struggling right now, five and five, we're basically have the same record as uh, Toronto right now. In the last ten games, we're still in there because we started really strong, and we're yeah, we're basically facing off. It's the two best team of the Atlantic Division facing off against each other, boys. This is a huge game for us right now. A huge game, thirty six wins. Uh, you guys remember, we gotta get the forty game, forty uh, wins minimum in order to make it to the at least made it to the playoffs. I think we're gonna get the 40 wins. Uh, I'm hoping at least, because I can't. I couldn't see us not making the playoffs, right? Uh, I couldn't see us not making the 40 wins right now. 
we would have to lose all of our games basically which I hope it's not gonna happen the way we're going we're losing a lot of games and quick we're having a tough time in the uh, in the winning sit uh, department so let's see what we got right here so yeah Panarin's really this year is really playing like a two-way forward boys I don't know he's like a yeah he's he's a two-way Panarin is he's a two-way boys yeah, he's really a two-way. I should probably change his his style to a two-way. So he we, he plays exactly the way he's supposed to be playing. I should probably do that, boys. Ecker with Menta. Ecker is doing what he is. So he's he is a a playmaker. So he's playing like a playmaker, which is uh always pretty good. Is he's definitely playing like a playmaker, boys. And what about Manta? Manta, I think. Well, Manta's a power forward, so he's doing fine in there. Svechnikov, Larkin, Eberly. I think they're doing fine as well. So far, yeah. We got another playmaker. So Eberly is another one of these two way forwards right here, actually. Yeah, he's a two way forward. He plays like one. Another one like this, boys. See. That's where you, you can basically see who's playing the way they are. Okay. Cogliano dropped off. That's why we're doing a little bit uh, worse, boys. Cogliano, I didn't see it, but Cogliano dropped off to a 76, which now is a minor checking for. He shouldn't even be playing right now in the NHL at all. Uh, who do we got? We got Marcus Grenman. We're gonna have to replace him with uh, Marcus uh, Grenlin, boys. Let's let's do that right away. You might uh, I might have to. I'm gonna go check into roster moves uh, really quick, just to see if I can't replace him or anything, because obviously it was hurting our simulation. So we're gonna get. What do we have here? Death. We got two deaths playing at the fourth line. So obviously our fourth line could be better. Uh, I'm gonna have to make some trades probably if we want to make it to the playoffs We're gonna have to make some trades just to see if we can't get make it to the playoffs boys Just to see if we can't get basically a fourth line or something So Cogliano he needs to get out of here. Let me do that boys. Now. I think I could probably make this trade boys happen uh, Martin Furk for Kyle Clifford. He's a fourth liner uh, Martin Furk. Let me see what he is. He can't grow anymore boys and he, he can't grow. He's out of his death. And he's a death uh, forward. He hasn't play, be playing that good in the fourth line this year. Uh, only uh, minus six. And he's got nine points and eight assists. He has a lot of points, actually. Um, he's pretty decent for us. But he's the death forward. We could replace him easily by this guy. Uh, Kyle Clifford. Only like two or three years more than him. He's a uh, top nine exact, so uh, the same exact potential, boys, and fourth liner. So, and actually, he, he's playing pretty good right now. So I'm thinking I'm gonna get him. I don't, I don't know if I can get anything in uh, in exchange as well, uh, something more. So I'm just gonna make the trade happen right away. So here we go. We got a fourth liner at least to upgrade our. I was kind of playing on getting Foligno, which is a third forward liner. Playing him on the third line, a uh, fourth line, uh, to upgrade really a big time our our players, I guess, our team. But I decided to not do that because I kind of need boys. I kind of need to uh, to keep it the way it is. I think I, what I'm gonna end up doing, Grenlin, you need to be playing somewhere else. As a blocky, you're gonna return back into the minors. I think that's how it's gonna go. No, 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 never mind that. Never mind. What am I saying? No, Zablocki needs to go back until we uh, we get s uh, someone that can play for uh, left wing. I might uh, try to get uh, either Grenlin or somebody out of here. I need a fourth liner for my left wing as well, boys. Let me check that out. All right, let's make this trade happen as well, boys. Another trade I want to do right away. Don't score for Grenlin. So straight up, players for players, boys. Dunskoy, 80 overall. He's a third forward liner. So just like Krejci, he's going to be playing on the left wing, on the fourth line, instead of be playing on his position. That's okay. He hasn't been doing a lot of points anyways. 
Well, he has the poise, just like uh, the one I just got. The other player I just got. He has the poise. Grendon now is a good player, boys. Really good player. But it's uh, basically it's the same player, except he has one more overall, which makes him a fourth... A third liner, basically. It makes him a third liner. Grendon should probably be a fourth liner. But... I don't know for some reason is a death so I need uh, I need someone that can overall be a fourth liner or something all right so let's make straight up this trade happen there we go players for players it doesn't hurt the team because it's death boards that already were uh, not gonna grow in Ferk in uh, what's it called Grenon so it's not hurting at all our team boys it doesn't change the lineups at all it just adds better players into the team and upgrades our team for the playoffs to make it to the playoffs we need to make it there so there we go our team is already better really better in the fourth line death for uh, death words it's really better boys don't score with crutchy uh, two th three um three liners it's good playing together with clifford now i don't know how it's gonna go because i think the from the looks of it it looks like um, okay. It looks like Donsko is a playmaker. So Donsko is he a playmaker? Yeah, okay. He's a playmaker with Krejci, uh, who Krejci basically is another playmaker. It looks like, yeah, Krejci is definitely another playmaker, and uh, Clifford, Clifford, which is a grinder, so score grinder basically. He can do the passes. There's no two ways. In the lineup, so I don't know how it's gonna go, boys. I really don't know. We'll have to see. We'll have to see. Check it out, um, and uh, see how the simulation goes. Basically, got three, so two new accusations. Let's see how these two players go for our team, boys. I'm gonna have to do the uh, scout system really quick, and then we'll do the simulation afterwards. We're going all the way towards this uh, game, the 18th of uh, March, I, feel, I believe, boys. So we're really getting there. In terms of the end of the season. So we really need to start popping off these wins. There's a win against Toronto right there. That's what we needed. Let's see how our team's gonna go now that I made these two I made these two trades. Uh if I it's gonna help out a lot now. Doggy Hamilton is injured. That is not good. One of our two best defensemen just got injured. Pumpole is back in the lineup for the AHL. Which means we can probably replace someone now. I think I'm going to replace uh, Brian Flynn. Because we need to get Pumple back in there. There we go. And let's just play in the second line. Just because, boys. We're going to get uh, keep Kirigliano in there. There we go. Let's continue the simulation. That's a 3 nothing win for us. And do, two losses in regulation now, though. That's not good. We don't want that. There we go. Bounce back up against... Montreal. Montreal is having a tough time against us. Dustin Bafflegun is injured. Oh my god. Don't tell me. Do, tell me it's just like a minor injury. It's just, he, He's the one replacing uh, uh, Doggy Hamilton, boys. And he gets injured for some reason. Like Doggy Hamilton is going to be back. There we go. Just had to simulate an entire day. Just to make sure that it was the case. So Doggy Hamilton. Get back in there with Pentriangelo. We got a solid lineup, boys, overall. Really good depth in the defense and forward wise. Oh my god. Two losses in regulation again in a row, boys. And then we gotta win. We gotta keep no, we can't just keep losing and winning and losing. It's just can't happen. Terry's injured too. No, minor injury. Okay. God damn that it's not going well for us, boys. It's like it's a 50 uh 50 50 thing. Like uh, look at this. So we started off this simulation with two wins. Two good wins against Toronto and Montreal. So two wins in a row. And that was a three win uh, game winning streak. So we're, we were doing fine. We passed the deadline. And the second we passed the deadline, we get two losses in regulation in a row. We lose four points, basically. Then we get a win, bounce back up. And then we get again, we lose four points in two games. But then we, we win again. And we lose again, and we win again. It's like, we can't just be doing that, boys. We can't just be having this record. We're 5-5 five five again. It's a 50-50 thing. We can't just be... 
playing for our spot. We're gonna make it there. We're gonna make it to the playoffs. All right, it's official. We made the playoffs, boys. Even though it doesn't say it. I mean, just look at the Athletic Division. We're at 90 points, third in our division, and the the who's below us? 74 points, Buffalo Sabers. So we're making to the playoffs, boys. It's not even a challenge. It's not even a challenge. What's happening over there? Like nobody has points. Looks like a tentative division where three teams who dominated at the beginning and were having difficult time now. So it doesn't look like the two trades helped out at all. Uh, it's kind of the same old, same old. We're playing the same, so 50-50 uh, thing. I don't like it, boys. So what I'm going to have to end up doing, I'm going to have to go edit my players and edit the way they're playing. So basically... The way they're playing, I'm gonna if it's a it says it's a two-way forward, but he play he plays like a playmaker. I'm gonna switch him as a playmaker. You know that's what I'm gonna go do for all of my players. Make sure they they actually play like it says they are uh, they play. Okay, boys, I went ahead and switched all my players. Almost I, I checked at everyone in the main roster. Uh, a lot of players had to change their type of players. I had to change. Because they weren't playing, they, they ha didn't have the right thing. Now, Panarin is a two-way forward. He's not a sniper. He's a two-way forward, boys, obviously. I changed him as a two-way forward. Make sure that is the case, really. Yeah, he's definitely a two-way forward. Um, playing with Ecker, uh, Playmaker, of course. Power forward and Menta. So these two didn't change at all. Zvechnikov went from a sniper to a playmaker. He's definitely playing like a playmaker and not a sniper at all, boys. I don't know what they were smoking the EA, but he, he plays like a playmaker. And uh, Larkin's another playmaker with a sniper. I kept everybody as a sniper. I went ahead and switched him for second for play two-way, but I feel like he's more of a sniper. Uh, Adam Ernie is actually an enforcer, which is interesting. Not a power forward. He's an enforcer. Uh, Rasmussen is a two-way forward and not a sniper. Connor Brown, he stays as a two-way forward. Don't score, uh, becomes a two-way forward as well. And uh, Krejci stays a playmaker. And Clif uh, Clifford it switches from grinder to an enforcer as well. He's, an, he's also an enforcer. The only thing I don't know how to change is the defenseman. I don't know how to look at that properly, boys. I don't know how to really look. I'm going to have to eventually look at that pre more precisely but for now let's just go to the simulation and everything so let's hope it's gonna help out the fact that i i made them as the type of player they actually are boys so two four six eight and ten so all the way to the buffalo sabers game boys basically i hope uh we're getting towards the end basically here so i hope we're gonna do fine we're we, we got we started off with two losses in regulation, two big losses too, but we won afterwards, two wins in a row, so that's good. That's the 50-50 record I'm talking to you about, boys. Todd Bells is injured, a lot of injuries in the AHL, boys. A lot of injuries, it's not as good at all. Doug Hamilton is injured again, it has to be replaced by a minor tattoo, which is Buffalo Gun, boys. Oh, God. We got to stop with the injuries. It's getting a little bit out of hand here. A little bit out of hand, boys. I think we're good. Yeah, I think we're good. Yeah, too much out of hand here. Okay, yeah. What well, I'm talking about this, boys. Now my two top defensemen are injured. What's going on here? I'm getting injuries off. Of the, okay. Hamilton's back. So we can switch Hamilton, basically. Uh, we can basically switch... A Petri Angel by Hamilton, and we're good. We we just managed. Oh yeah, he's back. We're good. I just switched him up. We just switched him in the last second, boys. Just at the right time. So definitely, we had a good win, a uh, good year, boys. Now we had just had a good simulation. Todd Bales is back. God damn it, man! It's getting annoying. All these injuries. So Todd Bills is a centerman, top uh, top six centerman. I, I gotta get him back. Uh, was he playing here? Or no. So he's got a he got replaced by Elson. No, that's not the right one. That's the right one right here. Okay, here we go. 
I'm not obviously gonna do this the switches the player switches uh, for the the types in the AHL because I feel like that would be way really, way too long. Patriot Angel was back, boys. Finally, oh boy, I don't know why we're getting all these injuries all of a sudden at the very end. It's just like last year, boys. At the very end, Pedro Patriot Angel likes to do that for some reason. All right, overtime losses now. That's uh, that's okay, boys. Uh, I feel like we got another 50-50 record like, uh, after that, I feel, though. Let's see. Yeah, it's kind of a 50-50 again, boys. It's the story of our life right now, but it's a good year nonetheless. So we never had a, a bad uh, bad simulation. Never had a bad simulation. It's, it was either always a 50-50 or a better simulation. So... Four, it's actually a better simulation since it's four and uh, five and four. The one is a point, so we we're gonna take it. So obviously we made it to the playoffs, boys. So a hundred and one points. I mean, it was clear in our heads that we were gonna make it uh, right, uh, way before that. Now Ecker started to fall off the trail off a little bit because he's he's playing with a two-way forward and a power forward. So I mean, he's not gonna make. He is a sniper with him, someone who can score. He doesn't have that. And that's what prevents him from doing that many points. But it's okay, boys. He's not going to... He's not. I guess for 99 overall, he's not exactly going to play like a 99. But it's okay, boys. We, we need to give him like a Ovechkin in order for him to play at his full, fullest potential. It's, not, it's never going to happen, boys. Let's face it. Unless Ovechkin drops off completely and he's not any value, then why would we play him on the first line anyways, you know? So, yeah, there it is, I guess. We made it to the playoffs, which is a really good thing. We're gonna, I'm gonna have to look at the scouts again, boys. Scouts are done. Let's go ahead and finish off the season, boys, already. Let's finish off this season already. What we're gonna do, we're gonna do a quick, uh, a quick time simulation for this one. In a slow time simulation, there we go. There's a win. That's a nice win right there. Uh, we could have got if we played better. We didn't have so many like 50-50 record every time. Could have added the uh, 50 uh, wins, 50 season win, and that would that would have been really nice for us, boys. But unfortunately, cannot happen. Can't it just can't happen, boys? So we're gonna have to wait a little bit some more for that. Uh, I'm guessing right now what we're going to do is, yeah, we're going to just jump right into it. Just let's jump right into the simulation and uh, jump into the game, the third period. And we're going to watch the third period as it goes, boys, and have fun, basically. Really, I have a big time fun. So let's just see. First period right here. We got two win, uh, two goals. Uh, Krejci, the fourth line and the first line. So both line, first and last. Playing together, playing pretty well, boys. And um, to a second period, let's see what we got. Another goal for us. A really good game. Second line with Svechnikov scoring. So here we go, boys. Really good for us. Fourth, uh, first, second, and fourth. Now there's there's just one goal missing, and it's for the third line. Let's see if they can put it in. Let's do this. Ecker wins the face off for the uh, for the beginning of the third period. Now it's a fast period, boys. Of course. Fast periods with three mi and a three-minute period, basically. Nylander shots already on Brabowski. Always forget Brabowski is in the net too, boys. So we got a really deep team in here. Really deep forward line. Really deep uh, depth uh, line. And we've got Brabowski with a really uh, as a really good first uh, goaltender and a really great, um, basically backup as well we always forget about our backup he's it's uh i think it's jonathan bernier boys which is a pretty good backup in itself boys so really our team is looking good it's looking really good it, it's no wonder we got 47 wins we probably are on our ro on our road to the 48th win of the season 48th in last of course because it's the last game of the season uh, Kadri, they still have, uh, have him over there. That's pretty good. To Matthews, oh, what a pass from Kadri right there, boys. Two centermans playing together. Oh, my God. Ka Matthews. They've got Nylander, Matthews, and Kadri in the same line, boys. That's crazy. Well, it's kind of our first line. Menta, um, Panarin, and 
Ecker together. That's one hell of a crazy line. Which is not producing as much as it should be, but... I mean, it's pretty uh, much a crazy line in itself. Chill Whiskey, let's see what he can do. Pa passes it back to Petriangelo, which shoots. Gets deflected and uh, gets stopped in front of the net by Anderson, of course. Uh, Kadri's gonna pick it back up, boys. That's it's gonna be. Oh my God, he's going on a breakaway. What? The, oh my shit! Well, there are no no shout out for uh, Burbaski right there. Kadri made sure of that. Good lord, that what a drive from Kadri, boys. Look at this. Let's watch it back again. What is this? A 21st. Uh, goal 21 goal of the season he drove all the way back got his own rebound what the what the hell was Eberly and the other was it Petriangelo in there that was playing demon good god I don't know what he was thinking boys Eberly obviously couldn't do anything he was a forward playing demon what, what, what just happened there what are they what did our defense think just let Kadri drive right all the way there like that. What the fuck? Alright, I know I'm on super aggressive and everything, but you gotta chill out, boys. Cholo Whiskey goes with Svechnikov. Svechnikov's gonna pass it to Cholo Whiskey in the middle. It's too Karask actually playing for Toronto right there. Not even Anderson. Apparently Toronto got two Karask in their team. I don't... Uh, don't even ask me that, boys. I, I don't know why he's in that... is in there. Vlasic is all the way also in the uh, at Toronto. What the hell is happening? You know what? I'm not even gonna ask at this point. The the trades sometimes. Oh Johnson. All right, they've got all sorts of players in there. Did they just basically bury their own their own team, Toronto or something? They just went for a bunch of veterans for their team or something. I don't know what the hell's going on here. They had a young team and all they <laughs> decide to trade for all the. Basically the, the older players. Oh my, nice pass right there. That's a nice rebound or a nice weird pass basically from Adam Ernie. Which is uh, a goal from, I don't remember who's playing with him. I think it's, um, who is it? Is it are, are they going to show it? There we go, Rasmussen. His 12th goal of the season. And you, you know what? You remember what I said, boys? We only needed uh, f production for the third line and we got it. All of the four the f all of four lines scored in this game, so that's good. Fourth, second, third, and fourth, all of them scored. Each have a goal for this game, which is a really nice way of uh, finishing this season. Grabner, there we go. Uh, they probably got him because I don't remember, I don't recall uh, Toronto having Grabner, so they got a bunch of veteran players in there Travis Dermott okay that's a Toronto player god damn Adam Ernie's gonna just pass it it's just interesting to see all the players basically in the team boys playing you can see how they play basically every game almost which is right now we're dominating Toronto we're definitely dominating them which is interesting to say the least Brown to Tukaras Tukaras gonna make the save Tukaras is playing really good in this game, actually. I wonder the way it looks. I mean, he did give up four goals, so I shouldn't say anything. But uh, in the simulation itself, a slow simulation, I call it. It's uh, he's he's playing pretty decent. He's got the saves and everything. He did give up a goal on uh, Rasmussen. Oh my God, a breakaway from I don't 46. Who's that? Grabner? God damn, they gave up a breakaway on Grabner, boys of all people. I can't understand uh, Calgary, but it looks like this is the type of team we got. A really fast-paced, aggressive team. I did, I did put them in a very aggressive voice, so of course they're going to give up a lot of breakaways like that during the season. And there he is. There, that's a win right there. So that nice little win right there for us. And of course they're going to give up always a bunch of breakaways, boys. And uh, what else? I mean, what else could they get? You know. It's, good. it's the price to pay if you want to uh, score goals. Price to pay, boys. Resume. I guess we're just going to quit. We're just going to quit because we already won the game. So no point in that. In watching the the end, the celebration. It's no, it's no point in that. So overall, really good. Really good from us, boys. We got two uh, wins for the last uh, two games. Which is really good. We ended up with... 
me just uh, simulate there. Here we go. Simulate again another day. Just so we can see who are we going to face against the first line. It's actually Toronto. So we finished up against Toronto. We're going to face them in the playoffs. We're going to be able to watch their lineups a little bit closer, boys. We ended up really with a good record, I believe. Let's go look at our roster really quick. The Everything. So record of 12, 48, 25, and 9, which is a really good record in itself for the Red Wings. The Red Wings are back, boys. I put them finally back on track. They had a finally a, a good year back in the playoffs after three bad years. I would say three difficult years as a GM. I can finally say that I did something with this team now hopefully we can get uh, past the first round against toronto uh we need to really worry about it. it's toronto for the first round which is not a good thing if we wanted to have it a little bit slow so ecker was our best player this year with uh, 66 points uh it's obvious that he was going to be our best player but i didn't know how much point he would get obviously uh eberly ended up with 55 points uh, 52 points for Panarin. So when you look at it, uh, they did a lot less points than last year. Obviously, it was not a good year individual for individual stats. It was not a good year at all for our players. But um, for the rest, it, it, if it permits us to get into the playoffs, I'm all for it, boys. I prefer our team overall getting to the playoffs having a chance at the cup then just are then just having a bunch of players who play like with who get 80 to 90 and 100 points a year and don't get to the playoffs all right i prefer that all day larkin menta all got 50 points at least we got like it was re well well set uh, well uh, tied up for the points everybody was scoring everybody was doing points basically uh, Krejci did pretty good on the fourth line. I mean, he he had a lot of tough time. 11, uh, minus 11. But Don't score, he had a tough time. So the fourth line really wasn't playing great together. But what are you going to do? We can't really change them that much. Clifford and everything. And f what about the others? Defenseman-wise, uh, Doug Hamilton. Yeah, it was a tough year for everyone. Tough year for, in the, for the stats for everyone, boys. We made it to the playoffs. We had a great simulation, but tough year for them. Um, 37 points. 27 points only for Petri Angel, which, remember, is supposed to be doing a lot of points. He's a, the type of player who, who was doing like 50 points a season, a year. He took us 27 points. So, for top two... Oh, it's an actually horrible season for uh, Petri Angelo. A horrible season, but what are you gonna do? Uh, Dougie Hamilton, 37 points. Uh, top 4D man, I mean, he did what he had to do, I, I guess. He did get injured a little bit, but not too much. He didn't miss too many, like, too, too many uh, games, so it's not an excuse. Brent Houghton and everything. Brent Houghton actually played pretty, yeah, he played really, gr uh, really well. 18 points. Uh, Cholwiski had a disappointing year. Uh, Sari Jarvi played really well. Uh, Buff Buffalgan actually played pretty well as <laughs> the type of player he is. He played absolutely ridiculously well. And Ronek, uh, he played all right. He played all right. I think he played his part. So goaltender wise, we had Brobowski, which had an absolutely crazy year. I feel, you know what? From the look, from the looks of it, when you look at our individual stats, it looks like our offense and our defense was not putting it in. It was not going in. We we weren't scoring. We weren't getting points. What was the difference this year? What made us make the playoffs? It was Brabowski. It's like another carry price from 2011, 2012, if you remember and st stuff like that. That that was the year of Brabowski this year. Brabowski became the new carry prize, boys. I can tell you. 45 wins in 72 games played. He, he played a lot of games. Um, actually, I, I forgot it was Mike Smith, actually, our backup. All right. 
He played pretty good, uh, Mike Smith as well. He played his, uh, he did his job. But Barbaski had one hell of a season. Probably his best season of his career, boys. 1.69 of goal percentage as well, which it's absolutely crazy. Best uh, best season by far. What a year for Burbaski. Uh, gave us basically the chance to make it to the playoffs. If he can continue to play like that in the playoffs, might get a chance at the cup, boys. You never know. So, for all the NHL in itself, only one 50 goal score this year. It's uh, with 50 go four goals. It's Patrick Kane. And let's see what we got for the points. Car uh, Crosby finished up as the best, best player of the league. Uh, 98 points. 91 points for Malkin. So really, um, Pittsburgh Penguins are, played really well this year. Patrick Liney, surprising. Because normally in the... Uh, he, the, he never plays well in the simulations for some reason. Patrick Kane, all right. Kucherov, Wheeler, Stamkos, Tavares, Kessel, of course. Really great year for Pittsburgh individual-wise. All right. And we're going to get to the D-man now. D-man, we got Ekman Larson with 71 points. Uh, Dumba, we got Klimbert. All these players you can see right here, obviously. And goaltender wise, we got what? Oh, hey, now, now. I thought Brabowski played well. What? Look at these two. Thatcher Demko, boys. Thatcher Demko got 52 wins. 52 wins in one year. What is this? The, the 1940s all of a sudden? Thatcher Demko has 52 wins. And Matt Moore has 51 wins. What are these? What are these two goaltenders smoking? Look at their save percentage as well. All right, De Thatcher Demko is gonna win the. Uh, I thought Barbaska is gonna win the Vizina boys. Uh, Thatcher Demko is gonna win it. Look at his wins. Basically, he has almost the same record as Barbaski. Uh, just a little bit less. Uh, uh, just a little bit worse, if you can say worse. And. Has way more wins. Of course, Brabowski is going to be up in there. But Vas even Vasilevsky has got 47 wins. What is going on? That was the year of the def of the goalies, I guess, boys. Years of the, the year of the goalies. What the hell? Where is even Price in this? Price is not even near that. Yeah, Price had a bad year, boys. With 29 points only. Uh, 29 wins only. Bad year for Price. Good year for all the other goaltenders. Good lord. Rookie skaters. Who's the best rookie? It was Jack Webster. Which was uh, medium elite. Got drafted 5th overall. By the Minnesota Wild. Which I don't remember. 20, in 2021. I don't remember when was that exactly. I think it was other year before that. Probably. I'm not entirely sure. Or it was this year. Anyways. 59 points. Vishnitsky and everything. We got a J Jacob Pelsi, boys. Jacob Pelsi, what a really good player. Top six, and he ends up with 54 points. Montreal did pretty great with that one. You know, it's not an elite. Interesting. Rookie goaltenders. All right. We got all these players, boys. I'm absolutely shook by the stats of the goaltenders, but what are you going to do? I thought Brabaski was playing on his, on top of his game. Like apparently it's all of, it's all of the Goldenders who were play who play on top of their games. So what I'm gonna just end up doing, I'm gonna stop it for today. I'm gonna stop it right there, boys. We're gonna do the playoffs in the next game. If we don't make it that far, we're gonna do as well the draft and the free agents. But I guess that's it for today. Uh, really overall. Excited to the play for the playoffs. Really uh, happy that we made it there, all the way there. And uh, it looks like Brabowski helped us tremendously, boys. Thank you, Brabowski. Uh, keep it easy, boys.